I should uh, put some makeup there or something. Anyway, right, how you doing? Um, making another video because I'm just addicted to it. No, I'm not. No, I wanted to get my <clears throat> message straight. Um, my last video I was probably being a bit sort of negative, kind of what in a sense what I was doing is you know had a very long feeling and remember the end of it perhaps not focus too much on the middle bit and completely forgot about what got me into that feeling in the first place <coughs> so <coughs> the feelings I was getting and I said oh it's God telling me I'm wrong it's not, that's not what it was. Um, so on the 22nd of May, you know, I do my usual meditate and I'm getting a feeling in my heart and then suddenly it's kind of all around me, right? So 22nd of May was a big one, it lasted about 10 minutes. I really felt it was affecting the whole world. 27th of May, or it was very, very at the end of the 26th of May, sort of crossing into the past midnight. Again, it would have started with a feeling in my heart. And then had this, like, racing wind th through my sort of whole body, but particularly my head. And I didn't have God with me. <clears throat> Mother and Father God. That was the mis if you like, it, the mistake. I mean, sometimes I've been having these feelings and I've reached out to God and I've got the feeling that this is something you have to do on your own. So it could well have been that. But what I knew afterwards is I can't take another one of those not without God. I was scared. So I kind of made the video <laughs> to kind of brush it out the way and I probably should have waited a few days because like the feeling on the 22nd of May I needed a couple of days just to sort of get over it and I guess it was the same with the feeling I got on the 26th of May so um, not scared um, knowing that I still need God is nice I'm glad that's the case I'm glad it's not launch time, it's not fly out the nest time and see how you go. We're not there yet. And I guess that was my feeling, that that might have been where we were. But gladly I'm not. Still very much need God for however long, forever, whatever. Just wanted to get that straight. So the feeling I got was something. It, it wasn't the same as the one on the 22nd and I fully don't exactly know yet but so anyway I wanted to just kind of make that point that you know it was something it wasn't just me being told by God I was wrong it wasn't just me being told off by God um, like I said in that last video when I've had feelings like God is telling me I'm wrong it's like a huge weight sort of round on my neck warm you know warm. it's like you're wrong <laughs> okay uh, right a couple of other things I wanted to mention um, I talked about there being uh, I've talked about there being seven Christs Adam, Noah, Abraham, David, Yeshua, Francis, Stephen now and then I've talked about there being these Inter intermediary Christs and I, I don't know what to call them but I, what I'm thinking is that um, with those seven Christs God has gone in before the conception or been involved in the conception and done some DNA but I think with these intermediary ones, the ones in between possibly it's that um, you know, all the DNA that's out there from all the generations can obviously mix and mingle in any many different ways. And these ones were just what is available in the genetic, what's remained in the human genetics already, 
put these together and what is created is a sort of a, you know, the best human that could be made at that time. It's quite interesting. And so, for the people in between the Christ, we've got possibly Krishna, well, possibly Enoch, then Krishna, um, Moses, uh, Buddha, Muhammad, and then the other one who I was saying I couldn't think who it would be, uh, and I could only think of Shakespeare, well it suddenly came to me. Nostradamus. That's, that's really clear in my mind that Nostradamus fits and he was there in the 1500s. So that's that. <coughs> and the last thing I wanted to say was <clears throat> there seems to be quite a big blackout on the subject of the second coming. I mean, I know we've had it and I know people have talked about dreams, and I know we've had A.J. Miller, and I know I've said it, and there's a couple of other people who've made the claims, but not particularly very serious. But as a subject, it's not talked about, really. Like, analysing it, and, and I think it's part of the media's brainwashing, you know, don't bring up this subject, don't talk about it, don't get in depth with it, don't go looking for it, and yes, in the way it says in the Bible, don't go here or there, look in and stuff, but usually that wouldn't stop people. So I just think it's quite interesting, the lack of interest in that subject, for whatever reason. Anyway, that's going to do it for now, so thank you, bye.